Actor Dilip has received a setback in the conspiracy case in connection with the actress's old case. The co-director that the phones should be produced at 10.15 a.m. on Monday. However, Dilip has asked for time till Tuesday. Dilip said that he wants more time as the phones need to be brought from Mumbai. Dilip also informed the court that he had only three phones and did not know about the fourth phone. The court accepted the prosecution's argument that the actor was deliberately concealing digital evidence. Dilip had said that he could not give the phone for examination as it contained personal information. The High Court bench has started hearing the anticipatory bail plea of the actor in the conspiracy case. Senior advocate B. Raman Pillai has appeared for Dilip. According to the probe team, the court should either reject the anticipatory bail or hand over Dilip for custodial interrogation. The High Court had directed Dilip to produce everything demanded by the investigating officers. However, Dilip said he did not trust the police forensic lab. The court decided to consider the case immediately on the plea of the prosecution that Dilip was not cooperating with the case. However, Dilip said that he had produced everything the investigating officers had said and had cooperated with the interrogation. Dilip added that he was a victim of the government and the media. Director Balachandra Kumar revealed that he was an eyewitness to Dilip distracting and burning all the old phones. The director made revelations to a private channel. Balachandra Kumar said he knew that after mid of 2016, Dilip and his first wife never talked over the phone. Balachandra Kumar said that Dilip would have to say more if the phone was submitted to the crime branch and all the allegations leveled against him would be dropped. He added that Dilip is afraid of this. The crime branch has moved to seize the unsubmitted smartphones of the three accused, including actor Dilip, in the murder conspiracy case, and the investigating officers have sought legal advice in this regard. The crime branch is preparing to take a mirror image of all the five phones. It is hoped that the deleted file and other information will be recovered. Scientific examination will also reveal whether the footage of the attack on the actress was leaked through these phones. They will mainly try to recover call records, voice messages and chats from the phones. The move comes on the heels of the assessment that the strategically replaced phones may not be produced in the high court, or if the mobiles are produced, it will immediately proceed to scientific testing. The crime branch hopes to find vital information in the investigation of the five phones, which is crucial evidence. The phones used by actor Dilip, his brother Anub and Dilip's sister's husband Suraj were tampered with. When the crime branch asked them to submit their old phones, the accused refused to give it. It was after this the crime branch approached the court. The Leap's lawyer claims that the phones have been handed over to a private forensic agency to recover the chats and the result, and the phones can be submitted to the court. The crime branch says that in the conspiracy case, the mobile phone of the accused needs to be checked. The phones were handed over to the crime branch during a raid conducted on the 13th of January. The truth came to light that the phones were replaced when a one-year phone call was checked and found that all three had different IMEI numbers. During Tuesday's third round of questioning, he was given notice to present the phone and inquired about the replacement of the mobile phone. Accused, including Dilip, did not give a clear answer. Some of the sound samples handed over by Balachandra Kumar had poor vocalizations. The conversation got clear on the scientific test. The crime branch assesses that the reason behind not attempting to endanger the investigating officers despite the conspiracy may be to complete the trial of the case. News desk, Kamdi Global.